I had um, a scene with Alan and Wayne where they were trying to sober me up. We had, I was drunk in the scene and uh, we had wounded coming in. And since I was the head nurse, I had to be sober and get out there and do my job. So they took me into the shower to sober me up and uh, I just they, they put my head down and pour the water and would be having a conversation, pull me up and I'd say, what's happening, what's happening? And then put me down and say, it's a new way of uh, uh, gowning up. Uh, that's crazy, but I like it. And so they put me down again and give more water. And when they pulled me up the last time, I said, it's a shame, I really could have gone for you, you big love. They put me down again and Alan said, well, it's been known to happen pulled me up and I said, not you, you, and pointed to Wayne. I said, you, you, you with your curly hair and your crooked smile, I could have really gone for you. And we, it became such a thing between us. Every time we'd write each other or talk to each other, it was um, uh, from the kid with the curly hair and the crooked smile. And uh, eventually, Wayne, became my business manager, Nancy Levinsky and Wayne. Uh, he was uh, uh, one of my big brothers. He was always there for me, relentlessly. When you were talking, Mr. Tish, about his friendship, he, um, he was so, so totally committed to his friends. I could have call him at any time with a problem, and he would help me with a solution. Um, I, um, I can't quite wrap my brain around not having him here in my life anymore. But it's um, so wonderful to be here to share all that love that we had for him today. Nice to be with you.